Welcome back to you know. They call the action which is to do with the mass of the particle and the time and the distance, and you so you basically calculate these little quantities in our cosmos. Nothing can travel faster than the speed of light. When planning a long-distance trip such as crossing continents, you typically schedule an airline ticket with the expectation of spending several hours in the air. However, space travel requires faster speeds due to the vast distances between interesting places. NASA is considering missions to the Moon and Mars, exploring nuclear propulsion for the latter to achieve speeds beyond light. Scientists propose an unconventional approach. Instead of moving ourselves, we need to figure out how to move the space around us. Special relativity, as proposed by Albert Einstein, indicates that reaching high speeds would lead to our destruction long before achieving the desired velocity. In a groundbreaking development, scientists have found a way to surpass the speed of light, fulfilling their lifelong dream of reaching the far reaches of space more rapidly. This discovery opens up the possibility of traveling ten times faster than light. In a vacuum, the speed of light is precisely 983,571.56 feet per second, approximately 186,187 meters per second. According to Einstein's special relativity theory, nothing in the cosmos can exceed this speed. The theory posits that as an object's speed approaches that of light, its mass becomes unlimited, restricting the entire cosmos to the speed of light. While the distance to stars and extrasolar objects can span from a few light years to billions, the speed of light remains a constant, shaping our understanding of the universe. Einstein's equation linking mass, energy, and the speed of light explains the immense energy released in nuclear reactions. The constant speed of light, as explained by Einstein, remains unaffected by an observer's velocity or location. Even if traveling at speeds close to light, observers would still perceive light moving away from them at nearly 670 million miles per hour. Einstein's theory also suggests that time travel is possible by moving extremely quickly, affecting the aging process of observers. Despite the common belief that the speed of light serves as the limit, scientists propose that the universe is expanding even faster. This challenges the notion that the speed of light is an absolute limit, suggesting that the cosmos is separating from observers at a rate exceeding the speed of light. The expansion rate is slightly more than 42 meters per second. A megaparsec is equivalent to 3.6 million light years. To illustrate, a galaxy one megaparsec away seems to be moving away from the Milky Way at a speed of 42 meters per second, while a galaxy two megaparsecs away recedes at about 86 meters per second. This continuous expansion of space eventually leads to a speed surpassing the speed of light at an absurd distance. The concept of traveling faster than light has been a cornerstone of countless science fiction series enabling protagonists to effortlessly traverse between star systems and compress the vast expanse of space. Recently, a circular pattern of data plots from an experiment caught the attention of physicist Harold Sonny White, PhD, the research director of the charitable organization Limitless Space Institute, LSI. In late 2020, White and his colleagues at LSI's Houston Laboratory were conducting research for the Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency, DAPA. Their experiments focused on studying energy densities within Casimir cavities, mysterious spaces between small metal plates in a vacuum. The data plot revealed reduced energy regions between the plates, prompting them to move closer together, displaying a phenomenon in quantum mechanics known as negative vacuum energy density or the Casimir effect. While some researchers aim to apply this knowledge to practical uses like circuits and electromechanical systems, White observed a pattern in the negative vacuum energy between the plates and around small cylindrical columns. This discovery turned the Casimir effect into the interest of physicists hoping to apply it to achieve fast interplanetary travel. According to White, mathematically placing a 1 micron sphere inside a 4 micron cylinder under the same conditions could create a nanoscale warp bubble. The warp bubble is a crucial element of a previously fictional warp drive popularized in science fiction like Star Trek. The warp drive is a mechanism within a spacecraft that supposedly allows humans to travel faster than the speed of light. Despite initially seeming like a fantastical solution, decades of exploration and testing now suggest that a warp drive might be a viable concept. The fundamental science of warp technology appears sound, 
with the idea that a real-world warp drive could generate sufficient gravitational pull through massive energy to distort space-time. This distortion would enable a ship to accelerate within a self-generating bubble, potentially reaching speeds unimaginable by conventional means. Warp drives were sporadically mentioned in fiction, but gained serious attention when Gene Roddenberry introduced one on the Earth's Enterprise in 1966. The theory gained momentum when Mexican theoretical physicist Miguel Alcubierre published a paper in 1994 suggesting the theoretical feasibility of a warp drive. This groundbreaking analysis sparked international interest, encouraging further exploration of warp drive theory towards real-world applications. Alcubierre proposed a space geometry that could allow faster-than-light travel, essentially expanding space behind the moving object and contracting it in front. Alcubierre explained that this creates a warped space bubble capable of containing an object like a spaceship. For example, when physicists speak in relative terms, they often add the sneaky qualifier as seen from far away. Alcubierre's concept might seem like a cosmic optical illusion, akin to zooming past a truck going the opposite way on the freeway at 60 miles per hour, feeling like 120 miles per hour. However, the speed from point A to point B remains true. The warp effect simply shortens the actual distance between the two points. Strictly speaking, you're not actually going faster than the speed of light, as light travels at a faster rate than you do within the bubble, as it should, and everything else seems normal. However, you're hauling the mail outside the bubble. One of the initial obstacles to achieving warp speeds was addressed by Alcubierre's proposal. The concept itself, however, contradicts general relativity. Einstein's widely accepted theory stating that nothing can move faster than the speed of light. Yet, it doesn't prohibit space itself from moving faster than that. Physicists speculate that the universe's post-Big Bang expansion aligns with the same principles. Alcubierre determined that warp speed might be attainable, but maintaining the warp bubble would require a significant amount of energy. According to his theory, this energy problem might be solvable using negative energy as suggested by White's Casimir cavity experiments. The catch, however, is that no one has demonstrated the existence of negative energy, the elusive substance that space explorers dream of finding and scientists can only confirm through remote observation. Theoretically, this unidentified material might be potent enough for future warp drive builders to harness it to compress spacetime around a spaceship. Conceptual designs of warp-capable spaceships depict this energy source surrounded by massive material rings around a core fuselage. When activated, it distorts spacetime in a way that encircles the entire ship. The rate of warp travel is directly proportional to the degree of warping, although achieving it is far from easy. Concerning the mathematical feasibility of warp drives, physicist Jose Notario, Ph.D., a professor at Lisbon's Institute of Superior Technico, points out the practical dilemma of the enormous amount of energy needed. Given that we're discussing something more powerful than the sun, he insists that significant bending of space-time is necessary for the task. Alcubierre shares this skepticism about the practicality of applying his theoretical concepts to create a warp drive. According to Alcubierre, achieving speeds greater than the speed of light would require a warp motor that could expand space behind the ship and collapse space in front of it to form a warp bubble. However, he acknowledges the seemingly absurd notion that creating a bubble about 100 m wide, traveling at precisely the speed of light, would need about 100 times the mass of Jupiter converted into negative energy. In essence, a warp drive, according to his logic, is highly improbable. For achieving speeds greater than the speed of light to make it work, a starship would need a warp motor capable of manipulating space behind it and in front of it to create and maintain a warp bubble. While physicists acknowledge the challenges, they relish the opportunity to explore alternate methods and generate new ideas. Making use of musical notes, rotations, trampolines, tablecloths, bowling balls, balloons, and conveyor belts to illustrate principles, they even coin their term. It's not faster than light travel, it's superluminal travel. For example, consider someone jumping out of a ship while it is warping. The unlikely scenario is that nothing positive would occur. Could NASA be developing a warp drive? Since these studies are usually not supported by academic institutions, DARPA, NASA, or other organizations, most of the work is done in the scientists' free time. Physicist Eric Lent, 
PhD, is one such scientist who also enjoys Star Trek. Currently employed as a researcher at the Pacific Northwest National Laboratory in Richland, Washington, Lent first considered traveling faster than light during his postdoctoral studies at Göttingen University in Germany. In a study published in 2021, he argued that positive energy sources, as opposed to the negative energy that Alcab's warp drive appeared to require, might be used to build warp drives. Lent investigated a novel category of solutions to Einstein's general relativity, emphasizing the weak energy condition, which monitors positive energy in space-time. To overcome the energy obstacle and travel at the speed of light, he proposed a soliton solution, a wave that maintains its shape and travels at a constant pace. Warp bubbles could use existing energy sources for travel, but there is still a long way to go before we can harness them to the required levels. Lent suggests reducing the power needed for a warp drive to a level where a nuclear fusion reactor might be a viable option. Going to and from Proxima Centauri, Earth's nearest star, could theoretically be accomplished in years rather than decades or millennia using a fusion power device. The speed could only increase if power sources were improved. However, despite an infinite supply of fuel for such engines, a one-way voyage with current conventional rocket technology would take 50,000 years. Similar to Alcab's initial thesis, Lent's publication caused a stir in the warp drive community, prompting other researchers to investigate the problem. Notable contributors include physicist Alexei Bobrick and entrepreneur Johnny Marty. According to a report they published in 2021, state-of-the-art science may be used to create a new class of subliminal warp drives that could travel at a fraction of the speed of light. Although their paper essentially stated that it's acceptable to walk before running, they published a new theory earlier last year, detailing how a simulated black hole could be tested for the gravitational force required to distort space-time using sound waves, glycerin, and a laser beam. They turned their innovation into a free app for the public to use, hoping it would expedite the process of translating theoretical concepts into practical ones. The team is withholding details until the technology passes peer review, but essentially, the software is a simulator that researchers can use to test the viability of their warp speed calculations. While the program is helpful for preliminary calculations, there are still significant obstacles to overcome before enjoying accelerated intergalactic travel. Concerns close to the warp bubble's boundaries are of special concern to Alcubia. Anything getting too near would be destroyed by the tremendous space distortion. More mundane concerns like steering and stopping occupy NASA's thoughts. Described as a bubble of space through which one must push, you would need to inform space to bend in front of your spacecraft. However, the catch is that you can't signal the space ahead to act in a certain way. Despite these challenges, a lot of work has gone into researching these strange solutions. A more critical issue on Earth is how the scientific community approaches ultra-long-term problems. Something practical, interplanetary transportation at high speeds, ultimately brings to light Dr. White's work on Kasami cavities is just one example of how most of the study up to this point has been conducted by independent researchers without external financing or by chance discoveries made while investigating seemingly unrelated topics. Despite the epic time horizons before starting research leads to galaxy adventures, many scientists claim that we're in a multi-decade period of standstill in physics research, and the warp drive is partially indicative of that stalemate. According to Sabine Hossenfelder, a research fellow at the Frankfurt Institute for Advanced Studies, the field of physics has shifted its focus from continuous physical experimentation to massive financial investments in a small number of devices. She states that the likelihood of making serendipitous discoveries decreases as the number of experiments decreases. Technological advancements necessary to maintain trials commercially feasible do not occur in the absence of such breakthroughs. When asked if this is also true for warp drive, Hossenfelder sees a tenuous but reasonable relationship. She predicts it will be at least a thousand years before we see any practical use for the concept of warp vehicles. Therefore, a warp drive is still painfully far off despite all the progress. Future physicists will need to venture where no one has gone before if humanity is to ever reach the furthest and ever expanding reaches of our universe. Thanks for watching another episode of You Know. While you're still here, make sure to click the video on your screen for more mind blowing videos about space.